It's 5 a.m. on WKYT This Morning. Lexington police have arrested a man who they say robbed more than a dozen businesses in the city. We'll have a live report coming up in just a bit on where this case is headed next. As water levels rise, folks out in Bourbon County preparing for flooding ahead of this upcoming storm. And we're looking for some heavy rain up toward the northern zones, now sinking into the bluegrass region. Once this passes through, now we'll start to see that cold air mix in. And here comes that significant snow and sleet. I'll show you the updates on those totals coming up. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning and welcome in here on this Wednesday. We're glad you're with us to start off this wintry day. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. Welcome in. Today is once again a first alert severe weather day. We're preparing for a potential torrent of snow. Ugh, that does not sound good. Getting ready to sweep across our area. Right. Micah, is this true? A torrent? Yeah, I guess you could say that. I mean, you could call it anything you want, really. I mean, because it's not going to bother me. This is not a fun system to look at. It's not a fun system to forecast. It's a really uh, kind of a, a different system that we're going to be watching as we head throughout and really progress into the afternoon, off into the evening hours. That's when it really comes into effect. This morning, you're looking at potential flooding. Go up toward the Licking River and make your way northbound across 75. Go down 71 places like Owenton and also Harmony picking up the brunt of this at this moment. Frankfurt getting in on the mix in Lexington. We'll be there too. Now we're in the warm portion of this system. Once we get into the afternoon and off into the evening, that's when that cold air sinks on in and it will grab that moisture and put down significant amounts of snow and sleet. And that's why we're under that winter storm warning in effect through tomorrow. Now, I'll show you what that means for us and really zone by zone. I'll go over that with those totals coming up in just a few minutes. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. And practice makes perfect. And that's what the folks in Lexington are saying about preparations that are underway now for this upcoming winter storm. Yeah, we've done it once or twice, right? Emergency crews say they are prepared as well for this next round of winter weather. And folks are making sure they are stocking up with essentials earlier than before. WKYT's Mark. <laughs> Barber live in downtown Lexington with a look at preparations. Good morning, Rebecca and Bill. Hold up. We're ready for it. We got salt, we have the equipment, and you know, uh, practice makes perfect, I guess. All right, we do want to mention that uh, we're having some issues there, but Mark, his report is summarized like this. He says, Lexington's government center is opening for the first time today after a weather-related electrical fire in the parking garage closed the building on Sunday. The city is still going over trouble spots left over from the last winter storm. Another massive storm, of course, is expected to hit our area. Some people already starting to stock up on food and snow shovels. It took a week and a half for some folks to dig out of the snowy side streets after the latest round of winter weather with 8 to 14 inches. Inches of snow expected to fall in Lexington over the next 24 hours. Road crew is trying to rest up for this next bout with Mother Nature. And the anticipation this time around is that we'll get warmer weather rather quickly uh, by the weekend and hopefully that uh, melt will be much faster. Well, Georgetown and Scott County leaders say they feel more prepared for the upcoming winter storm compared to the last time around. Leaders say they were caught off guard during the last heavy snowfall simply because of its size. But now they have enough materials to stay ahead of the storm. City leaders say they have about 900 tons of salt for the roads and the county has nearly double that. Emergency crews say they'll be working extra shifts to help people out as well. In addition to the fire department, we'll be in the neighborhoods, you know, looking for stranded motorists or motorists that are stuck that we can get them, get them pushed on their way and get them moving again. Mayor Tom Prather is asking folks not to park on the street to make it easier for plows to get through. High water from heavy rains and melting snow from a previous storms caused some creeks and streams to rise. Folks along Stoner Creek in Bourbon County are moving their belongings to higher ground. That includes a motorcycle club with a building near the creek. Club members brought in a tractor trailer and loaded up everything inside the clubhouse late last night. They wanted to get out as much equipment and the building as possible before the water just got too high. We have no choice. We got to get this stuff out. Rain, snow. Anything. Well, club members think as much as three feet of water could flood their flood or their clubhouse by the time Stoner Creek crests. 
Fayette County schools are in session, but district leaders do have the option to dismiss early. Four school districts are closed. There's no school right now in Clay, Grant, Harrison, and Owen counties. Scott County Middle School is closed today because of a heating problem. All other Scott County schools will be open. You can find a complete list of closings, delays, and uh, weather information at WKYT.com. Now, 505 on WKYT this morning. And in other news, after weeks of investigating, Lexington police say they have finally caught a man accused of more than a dozen robberies across town. 30 year old Darnell Thomas Jr. will be arraigned in court today on those charges. Hillary Thornton is live from the scene of his latest robbery, the Tobacco Zone on North Broadway. Good morning, Rebecca and Bill. Last Friday, police say Thomas robbed this business here behind me, the Tobacco Zone, but not before the store clerk fought back, taking control of his gun, shooting him in the shoulder. Now, Thomas had been on the run since then with that gunshot. And yesterday, after being arrested, he was taken to the hospital to be treated for that gunshot. He is now out of the hospital and in jail, facing a slew of charges. On top of the warrant for his role in the robbery here at Tobacco Zone, Lexington police were able to connect him to 13 other business robberies in Lexington. His latest attempt here at the Tobacco Zone came on the same day police released a possible connection between more than a dozen recent Lexington business robberies. Now, there was another man with Thomas here at the Tobacco Zone, and police say the other business robberies that are connected also involved a second person. At this point, it is not clear if that is the same man or not, but whoever he is, he is still on the run. Thomas is set to be arraigned in Fayette County District Court this morning. Live in Lexington, Hillary Thornton, WKYT.